I'm Daniel Kennis. I'm a science editor at World Book Encyclopedia, and I'll be talking about Triceratops, one of the most recognizable dinosaurs. It was a ceratopsin, a group of horned dinosaurs. Triceratops lived in North America about 68 million to 65 million years ago, at the very end of the age of dinosaurs. It lived alongside Tyrannosaurus, and its fossils show that Triceratops was attacked by the mighty predator. In addition to its three horns, Triceratops had a large bony frill that extended back from the head to cover the neck. Like most other Ceratopsians, Triceratops had a massive skull. In fact, the large frill had to be thin or the animal's head would be too heavy to support. Traditionally, scientists have described the horns and frill as defensive. When Triceratops was attacked by an animal, such as Tyrannosaurus, it could turn to face its attacker. The frill would have protected its neck and Triceratops could gore the legs and body of an attacker with its horns. Other scientists have argued that the horns and frill might have been more important for display. The frill is so thin that it may not have been useful as armor. Instead, Triceratops might have used its horns and frill to win mates. Males could have even used their horns to fight each other for mates, as many animals with horns or antlers do today. Triceratops lived in an area that teemed with dinosaurs. In fact, at the time Triceratops lived, North America supported an incredible diversity of large animals, including a variety of other ceratopsins. At the end of the Cretaceous, there were a much greater variety of large animals living side by side in North America than anywhere on Earth today, which is puzzling. How could so many large dinosaurs live side by side? One answer is that there may not have been as many kinds of dinosaurs as it appears. Taurosaurus was another ceratopsian that was similar to Triceratops in most respects. The major difference was in the frill. Unlike Triceratops, Taurosaurus's frill had two large holes in it. In 2010, two paleontologists, Jack Horner and John Scanella, published research arguing that Triceratops and Taurosaurus are not different kinds of dinosaurs at all. Instead, these scientists think that Taurosaurus is the adult form of Triceratops. According to this interpretation, all Taurosaurus fossils are actually fully mature Triceratops dinosaurs. If this is the case, Taurosaurus would no longer be recognized as a valid name, and all of these dinosaurs would be known as Triceratops. The reason Triceratops wins out is that it was named first. The claim that Taurosaurus is the mature form of Triceratops is based on several lines of evidence. First, there's the frill, which is made of a type of bone that could change shape over time. There is huge variation in the frill shape, even among Triceratops, and the frill grew longer with age. It's possible that as Triceratops matured and its frill grew larger, the holes developed so the head would not become too heavy. Second, about half of all Triceratops skulls have thin spots that correspond to the holes in the frill of Taurosaurus. This may be evidence that only one sex of Triceratops developed the frills associated with Taurosaurus. Perhaps all Taurosaurus fossils were mature males. The scientists also claim that all Taurosaurus dinosaurs were older than all Triceratops dinosaurs. Scientists can estimate an animal's age by examining growth patterns in the bones. Finally, Taurosaurus is rarer than Triceratops. One explanation might be that most Triceratops were eaten or died in some other way before they fully matured. Some scientists support the new research, but others remain skeptical. Some researchers dispute that all Taurosaurus dinosaurs were older than Triceratops. Their analysis shows that some Triceratops are older than Taurosaurus. If so, Taurosaurus could not have been the mature form of Triceratops. They also point out that there are no fossils showing Triceratops in the middle of becoming Taurosaurus. In addition, they point to skeletal features of Taurosaurus that are not found in Triceratops, which would suggest that it could not have been the same kind of dinosaur. It will probably be years before scientists come to consensus on this controversy. In the meantime, similar questions haunt the classification of other dinosaurs. For example, scientists have identified a close relative of Tyrannosaurus that was much smaller than its fearsome relative. They named this pygmy Tyrannosaur Nanotyrannus, but many scientists think Nanotyrannus may simply be a young Tyrannosaurus. Ultimately, Triceratops and all of its Ceratopsian relatives were doomed. Like other dinosaurs, they became extinct about 65 million years ago. Triceratops and Taurosaurus disappeared forever, whether they were one kind of dinosaur or two.